Bro, just pick the one I'm pointing at. <laughs> Krieg kämpft Damson mit Schild, Schwert und Speer gegen David mit seiner Schleuder. Sie wissen nicht, dass Krieg heute ein Wettstreit der Schornsteine ist. Ein Kampf von Treibrad und Maschine. Von gesplittertem Stahl und giftigem Gas. That and like, gas is super expensive in Europe. So, and you know, we don't understand it because a liter is less than a gallon. So, when we first got there, it was like, oh, gas is super cheap here. It's like, the military is where I learned that the dollar isn't worth shit. So, it's just like, fuck. They probably wouldn't leave the house at all. Like, you know, there's, it's a, it's it's America. Everybody has a gun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, most people around, you know. Most people around here either have an AR-15 or an AK or, you know, a lot of people have uh, Glocks, you know, with hollow point rounds. Like, robbing anybody, yeah, there's, you know, I, when I was, I used to work for the fire department around here. And I just remember seeing, you know, people try to rob somebody. And it didn't go as planned and they ended up getting shot. And I just remember arriving on scene like, oh yeah, like, I can't fix that. There are way too many holes. There's too many leaks going on. I can't plug my finger in all of them. So, you know, it's... <laughs> and, you know... A lot of people around here have shotguns for home defense, so it's like, you know, you hear that it rack around, that click clack. You know, you know you walked into the wrong house. Yeah. Exactly. You actually speak German? Uh -oh. And but you know what? I mean, can't you just like, what is it, like an hour train ride and you're in France? And if... That's a tank. <laughs> Oh shit. What's up, Anthony Steele's identity? Yeah, I'll, like, you know, I get in this game and I completely forget about streaming. It's just like.
It's uh, that's you know, dealing with you know, hundred year old guns. You know what's automatic to us now was automatic. You know what's you know it's it's complicated. I could go into like all of the history of guns, but I'm not gonna bore you or anybody else watching the stream with that. Good to know. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, just uh, go to the squad. Uh, go to the squads tab and just select the squad leader. Um, is it just me or do I always need to defend in operations? Uh, it is not just you, Anthony. I always seem to get put on defense too. I'm a, I'm a terrible sniper. Follow squad leader. Alright. Very. Very true. Like, I. If I am using a sniper, I'm using the marksman variant, so I still get a scope, but I don't have to worry about glare giving my position away. I think I'm, I'm gonna try sniping just cuz I'm I can't seem to push up let's see uh pretty quick uh when the game came out I didn't work for like two weeks so you know I, I got i got a lot yeah because there was like went to the gym ate you know all the regular stuff but we have lost the sector can't win them all retreat to the next sector retreat successfully Anthony, yeah, I, I'm terrible at sniping, but you know, some, sometimes you just have, sometimes you just have to. Um, yeah, you, de uh, you definitely shouldn't like sit and uh, spawn and snipe. You know, I, I ain't knocking away anybody wants to play the game, but I, I definitely understand where you're coming from. Shoot. Uh, so here, here's the way I feel about it. Sniping in general in this game, you have to play to your weapon strengths. So if you have a, if you have a Russian M95, you should probably play farther back off the objective just because that's where your weapon gets one hit kills. That's your sweet spot. Um, if you're playing with the SMLE or the, uh, M Gewehr M95, you need to play further up because that's your weapon strength. You know, your one hit kill other than, you know, your one hit body shot is, uh, 30 to 80 meters. No, I'm sorry, 40 to 80 meters. So you need to, uh, play farther up. 
I'm a PTFO guy, but I understand that people have different play styles and that every play style helps the team. See, that I don't understand. Like, you, know, you, you, got, you gotta, you know, you gotta play your class. Oh my God, my aim. We are losing objective butter. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't understand either, and I'm a, I'm black, um, no. like, it makes, it makes sense for the French and American faction only, um, there were German, the Germans did have black troops, just not on the European, on the Western Front, uh, the Americans and French did. So I can understand, you know, as far as representing everybody, I can see how that works out. But, uh, you know, I, I, I agree, like, you know, it, I, well, I'm not going to say I agree. For certain, it should only be available for certain factions, and it should be better uh, illustrated. Because, like, the, uh, the Americans who fought... Uh, you know, African Americans who fought for uh, the United States didn't have a complete U.S. uniform. It was like a French helmet and you know an Ameri American shirt, American pants, and a lot of times French weapons. So I wish they would illustrate that a little more. Objective apples. Yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, it's a real unit that really fought in in the story mode. You know, they stick to the history pretty, pretty well. As far as like uniforms go. Das Ziel verteidigen. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I looked that up and found it to be real, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, to be honest, 
Like, as a person, I don't like them. Point blank. As... You know... Somebody... As president? You know, I don't really care. You know, you know every, every president is different and the same. Like... It's... Uh, I, to be honest, didn't really pay attention to him much either. Uh, when he was elected, I was a junior in high school, so I didn't get, you know, I didn't get to vote, but I probably would have voted for him over McCain. Uh, I'm 25 now, so I voted for Obama the second time over Mitt Romney and oh shit getting shot at <laughs> 20 oh wait what how, how there's no way you're four years old so how All right, so, so you're 14. 15, all right. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was the same way. I didn't, you know. I, I pretty much went to school and played sports. Show the tank some love. Yes, money, John. Uh, you know, hu hug them with bullets. Hug them with bullets. <laughs> Fifty attackers <laughs> remain. <laughs> you know, they only tickle them, but you know, it's it's something. Uh, it de it depends. Like all the. Pistols are kind of the same to me. Uh, you know, I use, you know, the M1911 on one class, the Luger on another, the uh, Talking Pistol 1915. You know, the the pistols are all kind of the same to me, so it I never really, you know, use one over the other. And in the United States, we actually don't learn that much about World War One. It's kind of like a footnote before we get to World War Two in school, which you know isn't a bad thing. It's definitely interesting because I know in uh, Europe, World War One is a huge piece of uh, history. My understanding of history, Hitler was a good. He, no, I'm not gonna say he wasn't a nice guy. I mean, from you know reports of history that I've read, you know Hitler threw great parties for his friends, tons of food, tons of drink. Um, 
You know, he, from, if, you know, I wasn't a black American, you know, me, you know, I'd share a bill with Hitler, but, uh, you know, uh, Hitler before the war, he did great things for, he did absolutely great things for Germany. He took Germany out of the depression after World War I, uh, revitalized the economy, revamped the uh, education system in, you know, good and bad ways. Uh, the ideology behind what he did was terrible, but as far as Germany from, I want to say 1935 to 1939 when he started the war, uh, Germany was, yeah, like, no. I'm not saying I'm not saying Hitler was a good guy. I'm not saying you know anything like that. But for what he did for Germany from really 1933 to 1939 was amazing. Like they called it the German miracle, and it really was. He took a country that had nothing and made it something again. Uh. I mean, yeah, the the Holocaust and anti you know, anti-Semitism. There's, you know, no excuse for that. But uh, you know, it's as far as what. It, where are you at? Well, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna spawn on you. Drop some ammo real quick. There you go. We are losing objective butter. <laughs> yeah, you, you just got it, it takes a little it takes a little bit, but it does it. So there's actually a, the science behind that is the way you beat armor is velocity. So bullets with a lot of velocity tend to pass right through humans, which doesn't do a whole lot of damage. I've shot an AT4, so I guess that's a let's see, that's a 123 millimeter. So I don't know what that is in inches, but you know, I shot an AT, you know, AT4. The enemy has reached the final yeah, it's a, objective. It, it 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 was it was exciting to say the least. Actually, a little scary too, because AT4s—it's a huge—it's a huge—it's a huge weapon, huge rocket, does a shit ton of damage, but it uh, I, even on, you know, it it sucks even to be firing the damn thing because it's so loud. Like, yeah, he's down. He has two friends though. Two medics are behind him. One to the left and one to the right. Oh, wow. Uh, behind the fence. 
like that gate. spawn on you yeah like <laughs> as soon as I press the button you start taking fire Like I spawned in on uh, somebody else. Where are you? Uh... Drop some ammo for you. Damn, I was trying to take out that tank. I don't think it worked. We not have. We must not have any anti-aircraft guns left. They got a tank on Bravo. I think we're losing this one. We oh. have lost objective button. It's alright, they only got this is their last uh last battalion, so we're definitely going to win the next match. Alright. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Go. The victorious Doughboys marched into the Argonne Forest, unaware of the deadly defenses awaiting them ahead. Das heißt, der Krieg ist bald vorbei, aber dieser Gedanke fühlt sich so unwirklich an. Wir kämpfen nun schon seit vier Jahren an dieser Front. Die einzige Wirklichkeit, die wir kennen, ist der Tod. Die meisten von uns haben längst vergessen, dass es da draußen eine Welt gibt. Wenn wir versuchen, uns mit Geschichten aus der Zeit vor dem Krieg aufzumuntern, können wir kaum glauben, dass diese Geschichten wahr sind. Nein, ich glaube nicht, dass es hier endet. Nicht in diesem Wald, nicht heute. Wir haben keine Furcht mehr in uns. Sie dürfen dieses Ziel nicht kriegen, verteidigt es! 
We are losing objective butter. Oh shit, that was quick. We have lost objective butter. We have lost objective apples. Wow. Das Ziel da! Erobern! We have lost the sector. Haltet dieses Ziel! What's going on, bro? And chilling. We are losing objective butter. Man, what you trying to get into, bro? Alright, cool, man. Hop on. We have lost objective butter. Right, true. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna buy it or not. He's tough. <laughs> oh, you're joining at a uh, Weiss. We are losing objective apples. Damn. Good luck, bro. <laughs> I, need some, I need some help on Alpha. God damn. I'm getting all different types of fucked up. <laughs> Alright. I mean, no worries, bro. I, I've been checking them out and I'm just like eh. like they look fun but I don't want it to be like Battlefield uh, I want yeah where it's like people play it for like 2-3 weeks and then everybody hops back on their regular maps we have lost the sector I mean, that's how it needs to be, but it's not like they don't put them in regular rotation. They just like keep them separate. Yeah, it's like I love to play, you know, night operations as like a regular, you know, a regular recurring map or whatever, but it's never like that. They always separate them. We'll see. That's true. That's true. 
Uh, I just press the run button and it just go. <laughs> like, uh... Hey, don't... don't... <laughs> Uh, don't say that shit, they're gonna kick me off the damn Xbox. <laughs> oh, shit, if this was real life, I'd be going fucking home. Like, I, I could, I could, I could, like, if I was, you know, uh, if I was alive in World War One, I, I wouldn't do this shit. <laughs> like, I know, like, like, it's, like, I know, like, I know, uh, shit, if, if, Afghanistan is nothing like this, but, uh, you're asking the wrong dude, because I damn sure don't know. <laughs> Why did it start? Afghanistan ain't got no oil. They they don't like they they've drilled Afghanistan like four million times. Nothing. Like we have taken objective button. Yeah, pretty much, but it's like like, th but they have, they have no oil. Like, I mean, nah. I mean, there's oil in, like, Iraq has oil just, well, all right, so. Because Turkey has nuclear, because we have Turkey's nukes, like. Like we we protect we protect Turkey, yeah. I mean neither does Afghanistan. To Afghanistan doesn't pose a threat, but it's close. I mean if you ask me why we invaded Afghanistan, it's because they're close to Pakistan, and Pakistan's a threat to you know our friends in the region, which is Israel, even though they're kind of far away, and. Uh, and uh India. And it kind of it well, I mean yeah a little bit. <laughs> and I that that is that seal. I mean, it's it's I mean it's it's backed up by gold like like I mean it, We are losing objective butter. He did not invent paper money. Paper there's been paper money for thousands of years. <laughs>
Das Ziel verteidigt. I don't get it. Wir verteidigen das Ziel bis zum letzten Mann. Like. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it got lost in translation. <laughs> Bad teeth. We have lost objective charge. This is a um jeden Preis halten. Fat, we're stupid, <laughs> you know. We have taken objective button. I don't know about that. Once more, we are the champions. But remember those at home who pray for you. Show fortitude and courage in this country. Uh, that's life. <laughs> and then we can go home and meet with our loved ones again. I don't give a shit. The enemy is being reinforced with an armored train. I don't know. <laughs> shit. Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Your bike. We don't have to lose this ziel and fight this. Yeah. Yo, no bullshit. I've had, like, I got my bike stole like three times. Oh, y'all, you, you're not in? You didn't get in? Like, it'll, it'll take you out of the game you're already in. I mean, sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. Uh, why the fuck are we losing this match? Like, I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you don't make crack in a lab, bruh. You, hey, you, you cook, you, you cook. Uh, man, you don't even, you do it on a stove. Shit, you do it in the kitchen. I ain't, I ain't say all that. <laughs> but I, I might <laughs> I, I might have been some places, done some things. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Dude. And I, <laughs> I ain't gonna put the recipe on. I ain't gonna put the recipe on live. I ain't gonna put the recipe on live. <laughs> Yo, by the way, there is, there is a song that uh, puts the recipe out. Yo, you need some water, need some bacon soda, need two beakers. 
<lacht> Soll ich dich wieder zusammenflecken? Bist du voll? <lacht> Got, got farm a little bit. Farm a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to burn this shit. <laughs> nope. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, boil pot of water. <laughs> High school was a hell of a time. <laughs> Man, you get, you don't gotta, yeah. Like you. Man, you didn't, you didn't lie, shit. If you take, like, if you eat a bunch of them Flintstones gummies, like, it'll fuck, number one, it'll fuck up your liver and kidneys, but, you know, it, it's, it, it's, all that shit is bad. Like, that's why I don't take none of that shit. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. We flick it zusammen. Like man. And I, I don't watch TV either, but I think an electromagnetic pulse from mind control, I don't see how that will work. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it doesn't, I'm just like, I'm thinking about, I'm like, how strong would a pulse have to be to get a human, you know, to get a human to sense it, and, like, it, it's like, I don't know, it, it's, it's like, if you ever see Myth plus, uh, Mythbusters, it's like, it's plausible, you know, I'm not saying no, I'm not saying yeah, I'm saying it's possible, but there's a lot of things would have to happen. We are losing objective Charlie. Man, shit. Man, my Chipo I just found out my Chipotle delivers. You don't? So what do you? All right, so you guys have Taco Bell and Chipotle, but they're like, like, so there's. What about like uh, KFC? Like, I remember, like, this KFC is all over the Middle East, but I, you know, I don't know about you know England. 
erste Hilfe. Ich hoffe, dass... Ich hoffe, dass... Like, I'm here and shooting, but I don't see nobody. Never mind. Ah, I found him. <laughs> Yo, just nade the shit out of the left side of the train. Got him with the Matumbo voice. Oh my god. Oh boys. Alright, so over here there's a basketball player named uh, Matumbo. That's how he sounds. Yeah, that's exactly how he sounds. Hey, he's just like this. He's just like an eight foot tall. Just like an eight foot tall African dude. Yes. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> we have taken I mean, that being said, I was a huge Sixers fan. You know, early 2000s, that was my dude. Him and Allen Iverson. That, that was the squad. You didn't need nobody else. Yeah. Halt, that is a seal. <laughs> the Americans have been stopped. The Hindenburg line is secure. <laughs> Pedophile ass. Truth on equal terms. Let this mark the end of slaughter. Yeah. The end Thanks. of damage. The end of hate. <laughs> One can only speculate what might have happened if the German army had successfully defeated the yeah. Mu's Argon offensive. And Family Guy needs After to go back to how it road, used to be, the like the the, the new shit, like been the new episode. Damage. Game we just ended. Oh, you were waiting this whole time? Man, shit. Just said something. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's always, always, a hundred percent. Oh, you said a hundred? Wait, hold on, time out. No, you didn't, man. That's a squad. <laughs> I was like, a hundred some kills? Shit, we should. If you had a hundred some kills, we should have been winning.